Welcome to Revive Life, episode 12 of season 1. It's the end of season 1 for Revive Life. Remember, we started this during the pandemic beginning back in March, and it was strictly to talk about the four parts of every human being, mind, body, spirit, and emotions, and that they all need to be exercised and in balance of each other. So that was the purpose of a revived life, because we were lacking a lot of social interaction, mental stimulation, things of this nature, which we could do on our own, but it was becoming difficult to do that. Have you ever thought about that we're referred to as human beings instead of human becoming? A human becoming infers we don't have all the parts necessary to live optimally. A human being, that infers we do have all the parts, and yet we need to exercise those parts and do it in balance of each other. So when you do that, mind, body, spirit, and emotions, and you, you on purpose exercise each one, and in relation to the others, you, you live life exponentially. I'll give you an example. I just recently met a uh, gentleman whose career is financial advising, quite well off, doing very well for himself. And in our conversation, he said he's started this practice a number of years ago where he will learn a specific skill set, nothing to do with financial, and then do that for a whole year. He's done bull riding fencing as in sword competition. At present, he's learned how to do carpentry, and every Saturday he goes down to this specific spot in Nashville where they hire day laborers, and he goes out and he works on the job as a day laborer doing carpentry. He is experience, he, he's exercising all four parts of his, his being, and you wouldn't believe what it was like talking to him. Uh, every day is a new adventure to him, every, especially every Saturday. And every year when he starts thinking about, I wonder what I'm going to do this year. Next time that we talk, I'm going to address in the episode one, season two of Revive Life, about aging and the passage of time. And the reason why I'm going to do that, going back to this financial advisor, he has said that his experience of life is just, he, he just can't wait to get up each day because each day he learns this skill and gets better and better at it, and it has nothing to do with his occupation. So he's exercising all parts of his human being optimally. Aging and the passage of time. There are some theories about that, and the next episode, we're going to talk about that, and it's going to be directly related to what this gentleman has found out in learning different skill sets not related to his regular occupation. And I wanted to share this book with you, Real Philosophy for Real People. It is, once again, an exercise for all four parts of the human being from a, a long distance, looking at a human being and thinking about that person philosophically, that person being yourself. Philosophy is love of wisdom. This book, Real P Philosophy for Real People, written by Robert McTeague, I want to just read a, a uh, promotion by a man that I highly respect, Peter Kreeft, who teaches philosophy at Boston College. A delightful romp through modern idiocies disguised as philosophies versus time-tested principles for building a wise one. It is full of the most revolutionary, rare, and uncommon thing in the world, common sense. And this was uh, written by Peter Kreeft as a promotion of this book. And there's many other people that have promoted the book, but this kind of encompassed the whole thing. I picked it up a couple of weeks ago. 
I've had to start rereading re it a couple of times. And you need to find things that will challenge you to, I didn't quite get that. And you kind of need to mull over it, and then you go back to it, and then all of a sudden, boom, the light bulb goes off. Real philosophy for real people. Remember, mind, body, spirit, and emotions. You gotta exercise all four, and you gotta do it in relation to each other.